Good day to everybody. My name is Martin Mabe from Ujapa. Uh, I'm coming from the International University of Management in Namibia, and I'm making this presentation on behalf of my colleagues and I, my colleagues Dr. Shiana, Dr. Shires, and Yambe from the University of Namibia. Uh, our research project is titled Smart Remote Electrical Giza System. The, this presentation covered, the areas covered in this presentation include a problem statement, motivation, aim and objectives, res, literature review, the methodology and approach we applied in this research, our, the outcomes of this of our research, then the conclusion and recommendations that we made. The Sustainable Development Goal 7 states that by 2020, there should be a worldwide reach of affordable, reliable, and modern energy services. What this implies is household owners need to keep their appliances and equipment in good order and in good use so they are able to use the exact needed amount of electric electricity required in their homes. One household equipment that consumes a lot of electrical energy is the geyser system. Available research indicate that it consumes 30 to 50 percent of residential electricity. Good geyser management system reduces uh, residential electrical energy consumption by 16 to 21 percent. What this implies is or what this could be suggesting is switching off of geyser systems so so as to save electricity energy and cost however switching the geyser system within the 24 hour period does not necessarily translate into saving electrical energy and its associated cost or saving electrical consumption the reason is because of the way the geyser system is designed it is able to conserve uh, heat or hot water for a period of time the only time it begins loosen some heat or the hot water start becoming cold is when some hot water is withdrawn from it and then the heat in it needs or the geyser system needs to switch on to con to raise the heat to its the desired level that it was already set on before that water was withdrawn or that heat that heat reduced therefore by the nature of the design of the geyser system the switching on and off of geyser systems within the 24 hour period as mentioned earlier on would not necessarily translate into saving electrical energy and cost notwithstanding what i've just said uh, if household owners are traveling on holidays or are traveling for extended period of time let's say they are away from their homes over a period of 24 hours probably people are traveling away for a week two weeks a month in that case when that geyser system is switched off that period of time electrical energy would be saved and then the associated cost would also reduce additionally uh, the, additionally, it is advised that during peak hours, geyser systems be switched off to reduce the demand on national grids in most countries. And these peak hours is usually during the early morning period between usually 5, 8, 5 a.m. to about 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. And also in the evening period, usually from 5 p.m. to about 8 or 9 p.m. when most people are making use of heated water. However, considering the two items that has been mentioned in terms of people traveling for extended period of time and also switching off the geyser systems at peak time, what is noticed is sometimes people forget to switch off the geyser systems when they are traveling for extended period of time or they forget to switch it off during the, uh, prescribed, period, the prescribed peak period time. The challenge comes when people are already away from their homes and are not able to switch off their geyser systems. To overcome this challenge, regardless of time and place, this research project proposed the development of an automated system and app that would enable household members to switch off their geyser system. Specifically, this project identified the appropriate components that would be that, that were needed for 
automation of auto, uh, automated switching geyser system. This project, the research project, also enabled or developed a mobile app that could send an instruction to switch a geyser system on and off. The research project also enabled an Adreno or a microcontroller that could communicate with a mobile app in a remote place and the Adreno or the microcontroller could put off or put on the Giza system through a blink server. Necessary literature that we picked up in terms of uh, developing the said uh, app in this uh, research project included ICT tools that were going ICT tools that were necessary in terms of developing the app. Then we also reviewed the residential water heating various residential water heating technologies. Among the ICT tools that were reviewed include the uh, Adriano and microcontroller and then its associated languages. In this case, we looked at C and C++ and then also the associated uh, Adriano microcontroller IDE. The residential water heating technologies we reviewed included the electric storage tank water heater, the electric tankless water heater, the solar water heater, the hybrid solar electric storage tank water heater, the heat pump water heater, the hybrid gas fired heat pump water heater, and the biomass water heater. The method, the, in this research, the methodology we applied was the Agile programming software development. We specifically applied the stream uh, programming method. We chose this method because of the team size. We a small team size, as I, uh, as I made uh, from the from the beginning of the presentation, I introduced the team members that took part in this. We were a very small team. And then uh, we also wanted to develop something which involved uh, having more consultation or more contact with the, with the users of the app, the household owners. In the planning phase, as you can see uh, in the diagram, in the planning phase, various tasks were divided among the team members and the team members went on to design how the app should look like based on requirements that were gathered from the research, pop from the research uh, population uh, and then the research uh, sample. Based on the design, the team members went on to code how the app should behave and after undertaking uh, testing, and uh, based on uh, observations, the coding was uh, re-looped and carried out repeatedly a number of times till the app got to the desired uh, way it should work. When the team members felt it was working the way it should work, the team members then released it to the some household old owners to test and see whether if it was working how it should work or it should behave it was behaving the way it should behave in terms of uh, automatically switching off a geyser system from a remote location based on inputs from the household owners the team members re looked and recorded the the app a number of times and uh, based on the outcomes that was satisfactory to both the uh, research team and then the household owners, the first prototype of it was released and has been presented today in this research. This research population included household owners from Winduk, the capital of Namibia. The sample that we used were household in the in a suburb of Winduk known as the Hotland Park. We applied convenience sampling that allowed us to draw 20 household owners and the 20 was uh, the reason behind the 20 was because at the 20th person we reached the point of saturation and we had we felt there was no need to uh, get additional household members in addition since the data started repeating. In terms of instrument, we applied uh, interviews and observation to do requirement gathering and also for testing in terms of relooping based on feedback that was coming from the household owners to allow us to develop or come up with this prototype we are having. We applied a small ball, the snowball approach that enabled us to identify specific household owners that were having electric geyser systems. Since some household owners were using geyser systems that were, that were not uh, electric based, some were solar based, but to be able to get those that use electric uh, geysers, we applied a snowball approach to, uh, to be able to identify more people after initially identifying a few household owners. In terms of the system architecture, the way the 
the team looked at the mobile uh, the automatic uh, gazer switching system we looked at a we designed this site that the mobile app would work from a remote location but communicating with a microcontroller or an hydrono that is attached to the gazer system or together with the gazer and the communication between the mobile app and the remote location to the microcontroller would happen through the internet uh, or through a blink server on the internet as indicated in the document. The app that we developed, when it is run, what happens is uh, the interface comes up as can be seen to the right side of the diagram in this particular slide. When the app, when the interface comes, there is the on and then the off button. When the user presses the on button, the red light on the Adreno or the microcontroller goes on, meaning the gazer system is ready to get or is uh, is initiating the switching on process for the water to start heating but after pressing the switch button the timer would come up for the user or the household owner to set the time of how long the water heating should take place setting the time would uh, based on the setting of the time or when the user set up the time the yellow light will go on indicating that the timer is ready to work together in, in terms of the gazer system switching on and then the timer would determine when the maximum time that has been set would determine when the gazer system should switch off for the heating to stop heating so it reduces uh, the amount of uh, electricity that could be spent hitting the gazer. Then in this slide are uh, samples of codes that uh, that uh, we 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 de we developed during the process of the developing the app. The one to the left hand side is the code that was uh, programmed into the Adreno or the microcontroller and the one to the right hand side was uh, some is a sample of the code that was uh, uh, used or used in developing the app itself the app that works from the remote uh, location and in this diagram is the prototype of the gazer system and in it you can see the red light that i mentioned of when the on button is pressed and the yellow light that you can that goes on when the timer is set in conclusion we were able to develop the mobile app as we proposed at the beginning of the project and the mobile app to work is able to switch on and off a gazer system from a remote location <coughs> what we realized from the mobile app we developed was uh, it is unable to take meter reading before its introduction and hence it doesn't allow comparison between previous meter reading and current meter reading uh, after it has been introduced hence denying household owners to compare and see what benefits it is adding onto the gazer system also currently the app doesn't allow more than one gazer system on a network which uh, which could be a big disadvantage because most households has, have more than one gazer in use and hence it would be good if this prototype can be refined in future to have more than one gazer system on a network uh, or future development, future similar development of such an app should consider having more than one gazer system. Also, introduction of the ESP8266 Wi-Fi model could uh, would allow for better communication between the various components of the app. Thank you and all the best to all other colleagues who are making presentations in this conference. Our best regards. Bye.